Hey, Mike here. Uh, I'm wearing these goofy goggles because I'm uh, working with some stuff that's, um, well, I don't know. It's relatively safe. Hasn't blown up yet, but, um, you know, we'll just see. So, uh, this is a very crude apparatus. Um, this is the uh, refrigeration unit that I built uh, earlier today. Did a little video on it. Um, a small modular chilling unit. Uh, plug it in, drop it in. There's an evaporator coil inside this bucket here. Uh, it's chilling a... Uh, uh, ethylene glycol water mixture, so uh, you know, low temperature. Uh, temperature in the bucket right now is 24 degrees liquid temperature. Uh, anyway, that thing's running propane. Um, got another video about it. The whole reason I built that was because I wanted to build a thermosiphon. Uh, it's a two phase thermosiphon. Um, <clears throat> relies on the heat uh, in this water down here, which is uh, about 58 degrees right now. And the temperature in the bucket, as I said, is uh, about 24 degrees. So um, there's propane inside of this uh, vinyl tubing here. There's some borosilicate glass. There's some copper. Uh, there is a coil down in here. I just have a plastic on here to try to uh, prevent some air currents from, from warming up the water too much. But anyway, just simple copper coil down there. Um, Inside of the loop is uh, propane, just barbecue grade propane right there. Just uh, administer it as a liquid, uh, invert the bottle and administer. Um, I pulled a vacuum on the system first. Um, but as you can see, the activity there in that borosilicate glass, that is vapor and liquid rising rapidly. Uh, the propane uh, vaporizes uh, in the coil down here and uh, carry some liquid along with it, pushes up to a coil up there uh, where it feeds to the top of a similar coil uh, where some of that, uh, that vapor can condense and, and fall back down. Um, the bubble pumping action kind of keeps things uh, rolling along pretty good. Every once in a while I'll see a little bubble or something come through uh, the liquid return down there. Um, uh, earlier I was, I was messing around, I expected to not require nearly as much propane to get this thing to, to work pretty well. Um, and I was getting some bubbling and stuff going on here and I could see the liquid that was running back down the glass pipe, but really had to charge it up to a certain point until I saw some activity and uh, this is where I stopped. So um, it's getting kind of late in the evening, it's about eight o'clock here. Um, it's dinner time and shower up time. Gotta go back to, to work tomorrow. Um, but I just thought I would share this thing. So I'm gonna let this thing run out here for uh, an hour or so and see how cold the, uh, see if I can actually get some ice to form on this, this coil down here. Um, kind of 56 now, started at about 63, 64, about 10, 15 minutes ago. Uh, unfortunately, this bucket that I bought at Goodwill, uh, there's a reason for it to be at Goodwill. That son of a bitch is leaking. Uh, seems to be leaking around the seam here. So there must be a crack or something inside. Um, or, in all likeliness, I think I know what the reason they just heard me. Um, I took this, uh, this little valve out here, a little spigot, and uh, the foam was exposed, and I must not have hot glued and sealed up that seam very well. So I bet that foam is full of, full of uh, glycol, and it's it's seeping out there. That's that's probably what's going on. Except, um, anywho, I thought it's pretty neat. Um, we got some applications for this down the road. Uh, right now, I just wanted to see it in action and uh, uh, see if I can actually freeze some water um, passively. If you want to call it that, we have a. Uh, mechanical cooling up top, but uh, the cooling down here is uh, is definitely a, a, a passive action. Um, you could argue that the work being done here is being done by the mechanical uh, refrigeration system. I wouldn't argue with that, um, but uh, this device itself, the thermosiphon, uh, doesn't have any moving parts except for the uh, working fluid itself. So, Pretty nifty stuff, huh? I like it. So, Probably uh, play around with this apparatus a little more. Uh, with, uh, Charges, amount of charges and stuff, and see how effective it is. See how how uh, uh, this quiets down once the uh, temperature difference uh, minimizes. So uh, cool stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching.